Imagine putting all your money into an investment firm and poof, one day it's all gone. Now, some of us ain't got to imagine that because we lived through 2008, 2009 and the bank collapses and all that good stuff, man. But that's exactly what happened to Usain Bolt. According to Daily Loud, Olympic legend Usain Bolt has more than 12 million wiped out of his investment account after a massive scam. He now only has 12,000 in this account. Now, we're not saying that that's all that he has. He's not. He, he just has 12 million or 12,000 left to his name. I looked up his net worth. He's worth more than $90 million. But getting involved with this investment firm and how they've scammed him in that particular account, he's only got $12,000. And I'm wondering, part of me make, makes me wonder if they did this and left 12000 hoping that he would just misread the zeros or what have you. But I just don't understand how they could think. I, I don't think there would be a thing because I don't think that, that anybody would be that dumb to think that somebody would read 12000 is 12 million or what have you but hey maybe they said you know we're just missing a couple of zeros he ain't gonna notice the difference he'll that's in that saying like he'll never know baby he'll never know i don't understand what they were thinking on that and hopefully he's gonna be able to get it back but the entirety of that story is just this man it says eight time olympic gold medalist gold medalist usain boat has discovered that more than 12 million 12.7 million is missing from his account uh with a private investment firm in jamaica according to a report from the Associated Press. On Wednesday, Boat's lawyers told the Associated Press that Boat once had 12.8 million in the account, but it's now just 12,000. A letter sent to the Stocks and Securities Limited, Boat's lawyers asserted that it would it would be a major crime against their client and demand that the money be returned. If this is correct, and we are hoping it is not, then a serious act of fraud, larceny, or combination of the both have been committed against our client. Boat's lawyers wrote in a letter, Stocks and Securities Limited did not respond to the AP's request for a comment, but the company's website says it will be it will keep its clients updated on the situation as more information becomes available. Now, what that really makes me wonder is, is he the only person who was wiped out? Normally when things like this happen and you get something like some type of consortium group or what have you and that they put together some type of pyramid scheme and then they you know they do the thing where they try to say hey you'll as you pay in we'll pay out or what have you and then obviously the last people involved or the people with the most money invested they're the ones that are going to get they, they end up for lack of a better word getting screwed because there's absolutely no way to pay back that much money i don't know if y'all guys watch that netflix um documentary on that but if you haven't it's an awesome documentary and it just explains how you can get people to keep coming in keep coming in and, and as long as you can grab bigger and bigger people to invest you can you can keep the charade going uh much much longer because but when it comes time to pay those people their dividends that's when it's going to be very difficult but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man like it's all it's when anytime something like this happens it is repre reprehensible and but at the same time you gotta look very closely into these people who with whom you invest your money sometimes and i'm not saying that this is the case but sometimes when stuff like this happens it's like you kind of halfway know what's going on and you know it's kind of shady that's why you don't go all in on it but hey it's like hey i'm getting my monthly payment so you know I'm, I'm gonna continue to rock with it until until you know something happens but you just everybody that invests they never think that they're gonna be the one to get the rug swept off from under them but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man um hopefully this gets right this wrong gets righted but it's just a terrible travesty that he has to go through something like this but at the end of the day like i said sometimes they low-key know what's going on man we just don't know but let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man uh i'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's town god speak